time travel can really make a mess of your timeline. And the Umbrella Academy is certainly no different. Somehow they saved the world in 1963. When trying to understand the twisting, ever-changing, and wibbly-wobbly timeline of the Umbrella Academy, remember that nobody is insignificant and no timeline is off-limits. Oh, and this goes without saying, right? Spoilers for seasons one through three, yeah? However, we will try to keep them not too spoilery for you. The timeline as we knew it in season one is as follows. At some point in the 1920s, a mysterious Sir Reginald Hargreaves, who we now know is an alien of some kind after watching the latest season, arrives in America and buys a closed umbrella factory for totally normal reasons. And about 30 years later, the Temps Commission, which is not to be confused with the Temporal Integrity Commission for the Trekkies in the audience, is founded. It operates in the year 1955 while remaining outside of space or time. The year is then 1989 and Pump Up The Jam has been out for a whole two months and managed to reach number one on the UK singles chart on October the 1st of that same year. On the 1st of October at 12 p.m., another significant event happened. 43 women all around the world gave birth at the same time. Mysteriously, none were pregnant that very same morning. Sir Reginald Hargreaves, we'll call him Reg for short, adopts seven of them. Luther, Diego, Allison, Klaus, Five, Ben, and Victor. However, on the same day, a child by the name of Harold Jenkins is also born. He is not anomalous, but his life will be abnormally tragic and dark, but hold on to this date, we will return later. In 1993, we learn that Victor is drugged, and Allison uses her powers to subdue his abilities. The next and notable known year is 2002. This is the bank scene that we see in the first episode, by the way. In the same year, a young and abused Harold Jenkins meets and starts to hate the Umbrella Academy, and then he later takes a hammer to his abusive father, which results in him going to jail for 12 years, wherein he has even more time to hate and plot against the Umbrella Academy. Sometime after this, Five tries to time travel, but Acorns April 1st, 2019, after an apocalypse. Around 2005, Ben loses his life on a mission involving someone by the name of Jennifer. Now, we can't be certain what happened, but we do know that this caused the decline of the Umbrella Academy as a team from then on. Klaus also conjures for the last time until over a decade later. Victor writes his life story in the same year that Harold Jenkins is released in 2014. And of course, in 2015, Luther is sent to the moon. Reg offs himself, causing the team to regroup on March 24th, 2019. Five escapes the commission and jumps back to this day, eight days before the apocalypse. This is also the day the sweetest dance sequence and fight scene were ever seen on TV. A day later, Harold Jenkins, now known as Leonard Peabody, wiggles himself into Victor's life. The next eight days detail the events of the entire first season, almost following day by day, but there's one day that muddies the waters a bit. You see, on the 26th, Klaus steals Cha-Cha and Hazel's briefcase. He vanishes and reappears the next day, having aged 10 months. We will circle back to this one later. Then there was a day that never happened, but it didn't happen, so we can move on. On April 1st, the dog days of summer end abruptly as Victor Hargreaves, now the white violin, kills Leonard, the manipulative boyfriend, mutes Allison, and blows up the moon. But never fear, as Five takes them into the waters of time travel to Acorn at a much safer time. Now here's the first look into what must be the multiverse of sorts. If the Umbrella Academy is not in the rubble when Five travels into the apocalypse, he wouldn't have found the eye. Meaning, the moment they left 2019, they birthed an alternate universe we've yet to see play out. This would be a universe where Five never sees a single scrap of his family again. Season 2 complicates things, but that's probably an understatement. On February 11th, 1960, Klaus lands in an alley in Dallas, Texas. Being the recourseful death conjurer that he is, both he and Ghost Ben start making their own way in the past. Somewhere around May 1961, Allison appears in the very same alley. Meanwhile, somewhere, Klaus has started a cult and is living the high life. In 1962, our big Beefo appears in the same place. It's raining and he's sad. 
Little does Luther know, the love of his life is close by, getting married to a civil rights leader. World, meet Allison Chestnut. September 1st, 1963, Diego does a rad superhero landing, but is soon sent to a mental hospital. A month later, our beloved Victor appears, but like that famed Marty before him, Victor's hit by a car and knocked unconscious. Five lands there three days after Kennedy was supposed to be shot. The Umbrella Academy is fighting yet another apocalypse. Now, I I'd just like to stop here and mention just how truly badass everyone's become with their abilities. We never see such creative use of their abilities again or since, which is unfortunate. This is our second glance into a universe that no longer exists. There's a series of events where Five never met with the others and they all still congregated somehow in Dallas. But Five is saved by Hazel and brought back to the 15th of November 1963 to try and stop the apocalypse again. Now the rest of season two goes on from there like the first time, but let's skip to the end because on November 22nd, we witness the third obvious change to the timeline. Younger old man five meets older young boy five. Confusing? Well, just remember that when old man five jumps to 2019, he has the equation to keep himself from turning young this time. But we'll get to that soon. A young boy named Harlan is given Victor-like powers. Five is better at time travel. Lila's a part of the team. And Klaus has a pretty cool hat. Let's go to 1968. In a tent in Vietnam, Klaus from season one appears during an air raid. He spends 10 months here fighting alongside his new love Dave, only for Dave to die and Klaus to escape back to season one 2019 with dog tags and PTSD. Now, season three is a curveball. Seriously? We don't have a lot of solid concrete dates, but a lot of changes due to the Umbrella's appearance in the 60s. Here we go. Time travel is a complicated thing, Yeah, people. we get it. Your job is so hard. Now Reg is in America in 1918. He finds a portal to another dimension and builds the Obsidian Hotel around it. Given the face, an entire city has popped up around it in the flashback. I'm guessing it was finished somewhere near 1928. The first to failed attempt into the other side happens then. Remember that date? Well, forget anything you thought you knew. Now, only 16 women gave birth, and the Umbrella's six mothers were all killed by Harlan before they had a chance. A mistake, of course, but a mistake Allison will not forgive. So instead, Reg adopts another six, as Ben will always be adopted. Right? I mean, look at him. He's gorgeous, dubbing them the Sparrow Academy. 2014 Pogo leaves and joins a biker gang, leaving the Sparrows to drug Reg to protect themselves. Season three follows thusly. Every day there, the paradox they've created feeds the Kugel Blitz in the basement, which is slowly eating the universe as they know it. Reg has a plan though. See, if they reset the universe, all can be made right. And that's what the Sparrows were adopted to do in the first place. Here's where our questions start to bubble to the surface though. How different are the two timelines really? If we are to be honest, a few mothers not giving birth, an old rich alien being slightly warmer to his adopted children. I wouldn't underestimate the Umbrella Academy. Is it possible that there could be a Hotel Oblivion equivalent back in the season one timeline? Did season one Reg know about the other universe like the one in season three? And if so, did he even know Victor might blow up the moon at all? Are they in a simulation or just how incomprehensible is the technology in this other universe? This is the conclusion of the Umbrella Academy for now. One can only hope for any answers in the next season should we be so lucky. But I want to leave you with one last thought for the road. We've only seen two out of the possible four universes so far. The first 2019 season one has an underappreciated Victor accidentally causing the apocalypse. The second 2019 season two thirds is a result of the meddling in the 60s from the first timeline. Remember, Five found the prosthetic eye in Luther's hand in the apocalypse? The Umbrella Academy. Well, we know he didn't see the one that we did on screen because that eye never found its owner. But it still had to have happened to go around or else he wouldn't be able to stop it. The grandfather paradox was there all along, unless the next idea is true. Five started the apocalypse in season two. Yeah, 
by interfering with his younger self and changing the events of his own history. Five causes a chain reaction wherein he is still an old man in 2019 and doesn't escape Hazel and Cha-Cha, or at least isn't capable of helping solve the doomsday problem. Oh my god, Five, you're a genius. Time travel and universe creation always brings us further down the rabbit hole of confusion, doesn't it? Thank you so much for watching. See ya!